Hello, in this little video we're going to show you how to use the quiz function on the portal pages so that if you want to create some opportunities for students to get some feedback, do some self-assessment, or to get you some assessment data. Uh, once you log into your class portal page, you tap over to the quizzes tab. You'll see it pretty straightforward. Uh, and this is a quiz that I had scheduled for this class. This is an example so that you would see something on there when I logged in here. Uh, no one has taken it yet since zero out of one submissions. I think there's one student still listed in here. So I'm going to create a new quiz. It's not too tricky. Create quiz. You've got to give it a name. This is going to be intro quiz number one. Um, any instructions you want? Please do not use any resources for this quiz. It is not being graded. Um, you can then put ungraded. If you do have graded, it will try to correct things uh, if you provide it with the correct answers. So you certainly can have things be graded so that you give kids um, feedback on whether they're doing things right or not, uh, but it is not necessary. So save that. Next, you start adding questions. Not too tricky. You have a number of different types of questions. A short answer, long answer, uh, true, false, which will be auto graded because you will tell it whether it is true or false, the right answer. Uh, multiple choice with is a single answer. That is correct. And multiple choice with multiple answers. So if I put in a quick short answer, uh, tell me about your favorite color. All right? Save. And new versus save. Save is if we're done. Save and new is going to be a new question. All right? Next question type. I'm going to do a long answer. Uh, what is your favorite holiday and why? Uh, 250 words max. Whatever. Save and new. Alrighty. There you can see them clicking up on that quiz in the background. Let's do a multiple choice where there's a single answer. Uh, Red Sox or Yankees. And the answers are going to be Red Sox and Yankees. I want to, to know there is a correct answer. The explanation, is there really a choice? Uh, and again, I'm going to do Save and New. So, so I've shown you a number, all the different types. Obviously, if there's multiple correct answers, right, you will mark which ones are correct. Um, so I'm going to cancel that. And now I have these three questions that are in the quiz, right? And I need to schedule this. So we should schedule quiz. Uh, it's going to start today and then end. If you click in here, it gives you the calendar. So I'm going to have this be to You have to do this by next Saturday. Uh, at the time, I could have put, um, how about noon, Eastern Standard Time. It's not a timed quiz. If it was a timed quiz, you can say how long it would be, obviously. Uh, you can randomize the question order. Which calendar? This is important. Which calendar are you going to put it on? So which class? It does not assume that it's going to go in the class you are working on because your quiz sort of database is generic for all of them. So I was in the com so, uh, problem zone for the business world class. So I want to make sure it goes on that calendar. Very important here that you put it on the correct calendar. You can allow students to review the quiz results if it's practice questions and you want them to see the answers once they're done to get some feedback, go for that. When I click schedule, it will now have put that on the calendar. And if I go back to that class, notice I have to navigate back to that class. All right, and look on the calendar. You will see in one second as it catches up that there is a quiz that was created today and when it is due, right? It unfortunately, it puts it on the calendar for the day that it was created uh, so that when it's open. So again, this was the quiz that I had just created. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I can view the results from here. Right. No one has submitted the answers yet, so I'm not going to be able to see the results. If I have a specific student that I want to um, 
have a different due date, you can do that here, but that's advanced stuff that you don't have to worry about right now. So that is how to use the quizzes function on your portal page. Again, downloading all the results, pretty straightforward once you um, have kids taking it. It'll show you who has completed it, who has not, but that's the way you can use the portals to deliver quizzes for feedback for your students.